I'm fascinated by these just from a meteorological aspect, but also just from a visual aspect as well. We have a convergence of two outflow boundaries right here. And oftentimes, sometimes if the if the atmosphere is is ripe enough or unstable enough, you can even get a quick little gust NATO right there. A little gust of, of wind that's in that area right there. But Andrew, can you back this up and let's show the genesis or the, the really the beginnings of that outflow boundary itself. What the outflow boundary is, is basically you get wind that's coming from the top of that main cell that's right here, hits the ground and it spreads out. And look, even after this is gone, that outflow boundary mm -hmm. still continues and that cooler air continues to spread out. Now you may find right there along that edge a little brief sprinkle, a sudden overcast that kind of spreads in. Watch these two areas converge. Whenever you see something like that, you can get a quick little spin up right there also. Not damage producing, certainly not damage producing, not tornado but uh, what we call a, a little gust NATO. You get a little, uh, little swirl, a little vortex, mini vortex in the atmosphere. So, Andrew, we've seen a lot of these, just outflow boundaries yeah. in recent days. And that's, uh, that's something that, you know, in my years, I've been doing this now for about 26, 27 years. Um, I don't recall seeing that many. Then again, that gives you the, a, an idea of the power of the First Alert Viper 5 and the resolution that we have with this radar system and what we are able to show you that just years ago, just a few years ago, we were not. So that's a little atmospheric condition right there and it's all spreading out as it hits the ground. You know, I've likened it to uh, taking a, a glass of water or taking some water, pouring it on the ground, it hits the ground and it spreads out. That is the same thing that's occurring right now that uh, was a result of that intense thunderstorm that developed right here inside the city of Memphis and Shelby County. By the way, downtown got no rain. You got parts of eastern Shelby County, no rain. We saw no rain in, uh, Collierville may have gotten a brief little shower, but for the most part, a large swath, yeah, there's that little shower right there around Collierville that, de that developed, um, a large part of Shelby County, even though we saw this develop in this area right here, there's still a large portion of Shelby County that got no rain. But those that did and that were under this at one time got one heck of a thunderstorm. And that thunderstorm did some significant damage to at least one home that we know of. And our Justin Jaggers right now is out in Storm Track 5. And let's find out what he has to report for us. And I see a big tree behind you that's pointing in the wrong direction, Justin. Absolutely, Ron. Um, as you can see, a large tree this uh, has been split in two into, from one house and it's spilled onto their neighbor's house. And we've had some time to take a look at the damage. Three cars damaged, uh, at least three cars. And the fence has uh, been torn up on this front side here. And along with it tore down the carport of this house and this is just a lot of storm damage as a result of just one tree falling down and as you can see is just is a massive tree and uh lots of damage has uh come through there thankfully um we've talked to the memphis fire department nobody is injured and uh the the damage unfortunately is extensive and they're going to be working this out with insurance but for right now in the airport area justin jaggers wmc action news five justin justin is there anybody at home in that in that house was there anybody in the house as the tree fell Actually, was the homeowner there? Yeah, several people were home, and uh, but the homeowner is is here, but he's dealing with the fire department right now, so we can't really talk to them. But uh, thankfully, everybody's okay. That's the most important thing. Yes, yeah, some damage, but fortunately, no injuries as a result. A lot of power outages as a result of this. Let me show you quickly the uh, MLGW power outage map. I want to give you an idea of who is and who isn't dealing with power in and around the city. And most of it has been right here within this core. At last check, we had about 4,300 homes with 